Mother Goose is here now, here now, here now. Mother Goose is here now and Lucy too. We're gonna have fun, yes, we're gonna have fun, yes, we're gonna have fun. There's lots to do. Mother Goose is here now, here now, here now. Mother Goose is here now and Lucy too. Hooray! Can you say, hi Lucy? Oh, Lucy, I'm so glad you came to see our friends today. And it looks like you brought something with you. Lucy has a mystery bag, mystery bag, mystery bag. Lucy has a mystery bag. I wonder what's inside. Hmm, would you like to see what's inside Lucy's mystery bag? Thumbs up if you want to see what's in there. You do? All right. Let's take a look at all of the fun things in Lucy's mystery bag today. Hmm, let's see. You can help pull the things out if you want. Reach your hand in. Shake it up. You tell me when to stop and I'll pull it out for you. Ready? Stop. All right. Ooh, look. What is this? It looks like we have some shapes in the mystery bag today. Yay! I love learning about shapes. We're going to talk about these shapes and read a story about shapes and play a game with shapes. So much fun! Let's see what shapes we have. Hmm, let's look at this one first. Do you already know what the name of this shape is? That's right! This is a circle! We have a circle. Circles are round and there are no corners and no edges. It goes around and around and around and around. Can you think of something else that goes around and around and around? <laughs> yeah! A steering wheel on a car goes around and around and Circle shaped. Circle. Circle. Let's see what other shapes we have. Ooh, this one is a square. Square. Let's see how many sides the square has. One, two, three, four. Squares have four sides. Let's see how many corners it has. One, two, three, four. Squares have four sides and four corners. And all of the sides are the same size. They're all the same size all the way around. Square, we have a circle and a square. Hmm, let's mix them up. You tell me what the shape is when I hold it up. Ready? What's this one? Yay, circle. Let's try again. What's this one? Excellent. It's a square. Circle and square. Let's see what else we have. Do you know what this one is called? It's a rectangle. A rectangle. Let's see how many sides a rectangle has. One, two, three, four. Hmm, it has four sides as well. Let's see how many corners it has. One, two, three, four. Huh, it has four corners. So, how is this different than the square. Do you see anything different? What's different about the rectangle than the square? What's different? Hmm. Thinking, thinking. You have an idea? <laughs> Great. Tell us your idea. <gasps> wow, that's right. The square has all the sides are the same size, but the rectangle 
has two shorter sides and two longer sides. Great job, friends. Oh, here is our next shape. Do you know what these are called? Triangles. Let's see how many sides a triangle has. One, two, three. Three. How many corners? One, two, three. Three. Let's check this one. One, two, three corners. One, two, three sides. And triangles can look a little different. That's okay. As long as they have three sides and three corners, it's a triangle. Yay! Now, let's have you guess our shape again. I'm going to mix them up and you tell me what shape it is. Ready? Okay. What shape is this one? <laughs> Circle. Here comes another one. What shape is this one? Triangle. You're good at this game. Well done. Well, let's read a book all about shapes and then we're going to find some of our very own shapes. This story is called Mouse Shapes and it's written by Ellen Stoll Walsh. Let's take a look at all of these mice and the shapes that they find. See if you can find circles, rectangles, triangles, and squares. The mice were running from the cat. Harry, said Violet. Let's hide in here, said Martin. That looks like a good hiding spot. After a while, Fred said, Whew, I think we lost him. Look, we've been hiding in shapes said Violet. What shapes do you see on this page? Can you touch the circle? Circle. Can you touch the triangle? Triangle. Can you touch the rectangle? Rectangle. Great job. We can make things with them. Here's a square. A triangle on top makes a perfect house for a little mouse. Take a look at that. There's the square. And look at that triangle with one, two, three sides. That makes a great roof for that little mouse's house. A triangle and a rectangle make a tree, said Martin. And this circle is the sun. Can you touch the circle sun? There it is, a circle sun. But these triangles are different, said Fred. Triangles are tricky, said Violet, but any shape with three sides is a triangle. <laughs> See, they have triangles that are different shapes just like ours. And that's okay, they still have three sides, so they're triangles. Fred put two circles on a rectangle. What do you think he made? What does that look like to you? Me too, it's a wagon. He made a wagon for the little mouse in the house. Ooh, this mouse found a new shape. It's called a diamond. Two diamonds make a book for the little mouse to read, said Violet. Here's another new shape. It's kind of like a circle, but it's smushed a little. It's called an oval. Here's one oval, two circles, and eight triangles, said Martin. And what did he make with all those shapes? 
Blub, blub. You're right. He made a fish. Can you make a fishy face? <laughs> he made a fish with all those shapes. Watch out. The cat likes fish, said Violet. Uh-oh. Hey, let's make the cat, said Fred. So Violet put on the eyes and the nose, and Fred stuck on the ears. And Martin added the teeth. Urgh, it looks just like the real cat, he said, only better. Take a look at that cat. What shapes did they use? What shape is the cat's head? Yes, a circle. What shape is the cat's nose? A triangle. What shape are the cat's eyes? You're right, circles. And how about all of those teeth? What shape are those? If you're not sure, count how many sides. One, two, three. What shape has three sides? That's right, triangles. And here are some more triangle ears. <laughs> you're getting very good with your shapes. Just then, the real cat pounced. Ah, the mice ran away and didn't come back until the cat was gone. That cat's too sneaky, said Violet. If only we were bigger. I have an idea, said Fred. Hmm, what do you think his idea is? What could they do to scare away that cat? That's a good idea. Let's see what the mice decide to do. The clever mice got to work. What did they make? Soon they made three big scary mice. They made them out of their shapes. And they surprised the cat. The cat ran away fast. What a scaredy cat, said Violet. Now, what can we make for the little mouse in the house? It's time for lunch, said Fred. Let's make him some Swiss cheese. And so they did. Wow, they made so many fun things with their shapes. I wonder what you could find around your house that is shapes. First, let's see if we can find something that's a circle. Take a look at what our circle looks like. And when I say go, you're going to run, run, run and see if you can find something in your house that is the shape of a circle. Look everywhere you can and come back when you find something, a circle shape. I'll be looking for something too and then we'll show each other what we find. Stand up and get ready. Are you ready? Get set and go. Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can do it. I know you can. Look up high. Look down low. Look everywhere you go. Try and find something that's the shape of a circle and bring it on back and show me what you found. I found two things that are circles. Come on back when you have one and we'll show each other what we found. <laughs> I'll show you mine first in case you're still looking. I found a donut. Donuts are a circle shape. And I found something very different that maybe you've never seen before. It's called a compact. You can open it and inside there's a mirror. See that? And it's a circle shape. What did you find that's the shape of a circle? Let me see. Hold it up so I can see. Oh, great job finding a circle. Let's try and find our next shape. This time when I say go, you're going to look for this one. Do you remember what the shape is called? That's right. It's a square. It has four sides and they're all the same size. 
Okay, so see if you can find something, and even if you can't bring it back to show me, you can just look around and see if there's something hanging on the wall, or a piece of furniture, or something that's the shape of a square with four sides, all the same size. Are you ready? On your mark, get set, go! Run, 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 as fast as you can. You can do it, I know you can. Look up high, look down low, look everywhere you go, and come on back when you find something in the shape of a square. I found two squares to show you. I found a plate that's a square. It has four sides and they're all the same size. A little plate. And I found this little box with clay in it. And the box has a lid that's a square and the box is the shape of a square. What did you find that's in the shape of a square with four sides all the same size? Let me see what you found. That's a great square find. Well done, friends. Now we're ready to look for a triangle. It can be a triangle like this, or it can be one that has more of a pointy top to it. Whichever kind you find, as long as it has three sides. Are you ready to get looking? Okay, here we go. Ready, set, Go! Run, 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 as fast as you can. You can do it, I know you can. Look up high, look down low, look everywhere you go. See if you can find something in the shape of a triangle. I found something. Mm, mm, mm. Something that makes my tummy rumble and makes me hungry because it's one of my favorite foods. Do you want to guess what it is? Can you think of a food yummy to eat that's in the shape of a triangle? Hmm. Any guesses? <laughs> it's a pizza slice. A slice of pizza is in the shape of a triangle. Hooray, what did you find? Let me take a look. Ooh, that was a great idea. Fun job finding that triangle. We have one shape left. Can you remember the name of this shape? It's not a square. It's not a circle. It's not a triangle. It starts with r, 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 Rec, rectangle, there it is, is a rectangle. It has four sides, but they're not all the same size. Two of them are short and two sides are long. Let's see if you can find something in the shape of a rectangle. Are you ready? Stand up. Here we go, on your mark, get set, go. Run, 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 as fast as you can. You can do it, I know you can. Look up high, look down low, look everywhere you go. Keep on searching and come on back when you find something the shape of a rectangle. Bring it on back when you found something. I'll show you what I found. Maybe it'll help you find something like this in your house. I found an envelope, an envelope to put mail in and it's a rectangle. It has four sides, but two are short and two are long. I also found a phone in the shape of a rectangle. It has four sides, but two are short and two are long. What rectangle did you find? Oh, you are so good at finding shapes. I bet if you keep looking in your house, you'll find shapes all over the place. All right, we're gonna play a game now all about shapes. And you're going to have to listen to the shapes, pick which one you want to be, and then you'll freeze into that shape. 
I'm going to pull one out of the mystery bag. And if you are the same shape that I pull out, you win. So here's a reminder of our shapes, all right? First, we have circles. If you want to be the circle, you're going to put your hands over your head like this, like a circle, okay? The next shape is our square. If you want to be the square, you're going to put your hands up like this. So your elbows are up. You're not like this. Your elbows are up. So put your arms out and then bend them up. See how it looks like a square? Okay, that's square. And the next one is triangle. For triangle, you'll put your hands together at the top in a point. So circle, it's round. Triangle, it's in a point. Okay, and the last one is rectangle. And since rectangles have two long sides, we'll put our arms out like this for those two long sides. Okay, so here's how it will go. We'll say circle, square, triangle, rectangle. Circle, square, triangle, rectangle. And we'll say that together and then I'm gonna say freeze. And when I say freeze, you have to pick a shape. You can be the circle, the triangle, the square, or the rectangle, and you freeze just like that shape. Then I'll pull one out of the mystery bag, and if I pull the shape out that you are, then you win. Is everybody ready? Thumbs up if you are. All right, here we go. Circle, square, triangle, rectangle. Circle, square, triangle, rectangle. Circle, square, triangle, rectangle. Freeze! Pick one of the shapes and freeze. You can pick the circle and freeze. You can pick the rectangle and freeze. You can pick the square and freeze. Or you could pick the triangle and freeze. Are you frozen? Yes. Okay, good job. Stay frozen. Don't move. You have to stay frozen until I see which shape is the winner. Ready? Okay, I'm gonna pull one out. I don't know which one I'm gonna get. It's the... Which shape is it? Square. Are you the shape of a square? Did you pick square? If you pick square, you win! Hooray! Let's try it again. Square's going back in the mystery bag. Get ready. You can do all the shapes with me. And then when I say freeze, you have to pick one. And you stay frozen in that shape. And you can pick whichever one you want. Ready? Circle, square, triangle, rectangle. Circle, square, triangle, rectangle. Circle, square, triangle, rectangle. Get your shape ready and freeze. Do you have your shape ready? Did you pick one? All right, I'm going in the mystery bag. Let's see what shape is gonna be the winner this time. It's this one. What shape is it? All right, circle. If you chose circle and stayed frozen like that, you win. Hooray. Let's play one more time. Circle went back in the mystery bag. Mixing that up. All right, let's make sure they're all in there. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Do it along with me. Circle, square, triangle, rectangle. Circle, square, triangle, rectangle. Circle, square, triangle, rectangle. Pick your shape and freeze. Did you pick your shape? All right, stay there. Whatever shape you pick, don't move. If you're a rectangle, stay like this. If you're square, stay like this. If you're triangle, stay like that. And if you're circle, Stay like this. Don't move until we see which one is the winner. Ready? We're gonna mix them all up and see which one we get. It's the triangle. Did you pick triangle when you froze? If you did, you're the winner. Hooray! That was so much fun. Lucy, you're back just in time. We were learning all about shapes, stories, and games. We had a good time. But now it's time for us to say goodbye.
You can keep looking for more shapes all around your house today. See how many squares you can find, how many circles, how many triangles, and how many rectangles. It's time to say goodbye now, goodbye now, goodbye now. It's time to say goodbye now to Mother Goose. We had a great time. Yes, we had a great time. Yes, we had a great time. We hope that you did too. Bye, friends.